Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, blue square fully inscribed uh, in a semicircle with the center O, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that the radius uh, of this uh, semicircle is uh, one unit, and the side length uh, of this uh, blue square is represented by x uh, across uh, the board. This side length is x uh, as well. And moreover, keep in mind that this uh, segment uh, is equal to this uh, segment. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, red shaded region, this uh, area, this uh, area, and this area combined. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Before we could do anything else, we must find the value of uh, x first. And in this uh, next step, I have connected uh, this center O with this uh, point uh, B. And as a result, we got this uh, right triangle uh, OAB. And now let's focus once again on this uh, right triangle OAB. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this whole uh, side length of this uh, blue square is uh, x and uh, this center O is the midpoint. So therefore, uh, this segment uh, is going to be x uh, divided by 2 and this other segment uh, OA is going to be x divided by 2 as well. And moreover, uh, this OB is the radius uh, of this uh, semicircle, and we know the radius is 1. So therefore, uh, this uh, OB length is going to be 1 unit. And now we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle, whose uh, side lengths are uh, 1, uh, x, uh, and x divided by 2. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. And in our case, uh, this OB is the hypotenuse. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. We got uh, x square plus this one is going to be x divided by 2 whole square equal to 1 square. Let's simplify furthermore, so that is going to give us x square plus uh, x square divided by 4 equals to 1. And now we could write this x square as uh, 4x square divided by 4 and then uh, plus x square divided by 4 equals to 1. So we could have same uh, denominator. So therefore, we could write uh, 4x square plus uh, x uh, square all over 4 equals to 1. So therefore, 5x uh, square divided by 4 equals to 1. Let me go ahead and multiply both sides by 4 fifth. The reciprocal on both uh, sides uh, to isolate uh, x uh, square and here we can see 4 and 4 cancels out 5 and 5 cancels out uh, so therefore our x square value turns out to be 4 uh, divided by 5 now let's uh, undo this uh, square by taking a square root uh, on uh, both uh, sides so therefore on the left hand side this square and square root uh, undo each other so x is going to be equal to square root of 4 on the numerator divided by square root of 5 uh, at the denominator and now square root of 4 is uh, 2 so therefore our uh, x value is going to be 2 divided by square root of uh, 5 and now we are going to rationalize the denominator by multiplying uh, and dividing by square root of uh, 5. And here at the denominator, square root of 5 times square root of 5 is going to be simply 5. So therefore, our x value finally turns out to be 2 times the square root of 5 divided by 5 uh, units. So thus the side length uh, x uh, of this blue square turns out to be 2 times square root of 5 divided by 5 units. 
and that is going to be approximately equal to 0 0.894 units and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, red region uh, area is going to be equal to the area of this uh, semicircle minus uh, the area of this uh, blue square so therefore now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, semicircle and the area of this uh, blue square as uh, well and now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, blue square and now let's recall the area of a square formula area is equal to s square where s represents the side length of the square and in our case uh, our side length x is uh, 2 times square root of 5 divided by 5 so therefore this uh, blue square area is going to be 2 times uh, square root of 5 uh, divided by 5 uh, whole uh, square and if I simplify the right hand side that is going to give us uh, 4 divided by 5 so thus the blue square area turns out to be 4 divided by 5 and now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, semicircle and now let's recall the area of a circle formula area equal to pi r square where r is the radius and since we are dealing with the semicircle so therefore the semicircle area is going to be pi r square divided by 2 so therefore this semicircle area is going to be pi divided by 2 times uh, our radius is 1 uh, whole uh, square so therefore this semicircle area turns out to be simply pi divided by 2 and here's our final step now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, red shaded region and that is going to be equal to semicircle area that we figure out uh, is uh, pi divided by 2 and this uh, blue square area which is uh, 4 uh, divided by 5 so therefore let's go ahead and fill in the blank semicircle area is uh, pi divided by 2 minus uh, the area of this uh, blue square is uh, 4 uh, divided by 5 so thus our red shaded region area turns out to be pi divided by 2 minus uh, 4 divided by 5 uh, square units and that is going to be approximately equal to 0 0.771 square units and furthermore uh, our x value is uh, 2 times square root of 5 divided by 5 uh, units or in terms of decimal x is approximately equal to 0 0.894 uh, units and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye